everybody, it's Jay here, and I have another tutorial for you. A lot of people have been asking me lately how they can get the GID that I've got in all my videos. Uh, so today I'm going to show you. The first thing you'll need to get is the GID for ASRX. I will include a link to this in my de the description of the YouTube video and in the Facebook post when I post this to Facebook. Uh, so you just download this. It'll take a few seconds. Uh, just open it. You'll hit extract to and you'll extract this to your root ASRX folder. Not the plugins folder, but the actual ASRX folder. For me it's C slash ASRX. Alright. Uh, once you have that extracted, when you go to your ASRX folder, you go to plugins and you'll see the GID plugin and the GID plugin folder. Uh, just for reference, if you go into the docs in the folder, you'll see a PDF here, and it, this PDF is also some instructions on how to uh, install this and, and set it up, uh, in case this video doesn't do it for you. Alright guys, so now that we have the GID installed, what we've got to do is we've got to get it all set up. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is this little map at the bottom. You're going to want to turn that off by pushing 4. Alright, uh, to get the GID map, all you have to do is push the zero button on your number keypad. And that will turn it on. There's two different modes. Uh, there's the fixed mode, and then there's the rotation mode. In the rotation mode, the map will move around with you on the track. In the fixed mode, it stays right here like it is, and all the cars go around the track. And you'll see that. Now, to turn on the GID itself, you're going to push control space. Now yours isn't going to look like this when you when you first push control space and bring it up. Uh, it's going to look different, uh, but that's okay because I'm going to help you show. I'm going to show you how to set it up. So what you're going to do is you're going to push Alt space, and that's going to bring up the GID menu. All right. Uh, so what we're going to do is right here we're already selected on select object. We're going to push Enter, and then these are all the modules you can use on the GID. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the first one and push Enter again. And this is the position module. Module. Now to set it up, what you do is you use the mouse to position it wherever you want it. You use the enter key to turn a module on and off. So this is on, this is off. Now to go to the next module, you're going to hit right button. And that will take you to the next module. You can use the enter key to turn it on and off. Use the mouse to move it around where you want it. And then when, you're, when you've got it placed where you want it, push the right key. And you're just going to keep going, setting all these up where you want them. Some of these modules I'm not using personally, but you may find that they're useful. Again, we're just using the mouse to move it around, the enter key to turn it on and off, and then once we have it positioned, we just push the right button to go to the next module. Now, once we have it, everything positioned where we want it, we're going to push the left mouse button. And after that, you push Alt Space again. And right here, the first, the second one, I'm sorry, is Layout to All Sessions. Now you can save a layout to different sessions. So for example, if you want a practice layout, a qualifying layout, or a warm-up layout, uh, or even a, ra I'm sorry, a race session layout, you can do that. You can have different layouts for different situations. Uh, but if you want the same layout for all sessions, what you're going to do is you're going to hit layout to all sessions, and you're just going to push enter. And once that's done, it will save it to all sessions, and then you'll never have to mess with it again. So that's it, really. Uh, you just install it, and then once you get in game, you use uh, control space to turn it on, alt space to get in the menu, enter to turn modules on and off, uh, mouse to move it around, and the right button to go to the next module. And that's it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to hit me up on Facebook, either by direct message or comments, or if you see me on TeamSpeak, uh, just ask me any questions. I'm always available for questions. Uh, doesn't matter when, where, or why. Um, thanks for watching, and have a great day.